Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make four different projects that you can use for gifts to rock this Valentine's Day. Dominate Valentine's Day. Let's get into it. The first project is going to be a tea light candle holder. I started with a piece of 2x12 that I had left over from some floating shelves that I had installed in a client's pantry. I cut some blocks to a little bit bigger than 6 inches by 7.5 inches. After sanding the finish off, I glued the two blocks together. Once the glue was dry, I trimmed up the block to its final dimensions of 6 inches by 7.5 inches. Then I used my miter gauge and a stop block on my table saw to cut some shelves on either side of the block. I cut out a little heart and traced it onto the front of the block. Then, once I had found a forstner bit that was close to the size of the round parts of the heart, I hogged out most of the material over on the drill press. I trimmed out the rest of the heart using a super long blade in my jigsaw. I went back to the drill press and used a one and a half inch Forstner bit to drill out the three shelves. Typically the thickness of the Forstner bit head is the perfect depth for a tea light candle. I decided it needed something more so I put a small chamfer on both sides of the heart cutout. Then I used a flap sanding bit to smooth out the inside of the heart. I'll leave a link to these bits in the description below. I used some semi-transparent white stain for the finish, added some felt feet to the bottom, and project number one is done. Projects two and three are going to be using a lot of the same beginning steps and a lot of the same materials, so I'm going to be making those two together. I use the same templates that I use for the heart shaped puzzles to cut out two large heart shapes from the half inch plywood. These templates are available on our website, I'll leave a link in the description below. Projects 2 and 3 share a lot of the same materials and steps, but believe me, they will not turn out the same. See, it's, it's not different. It's the same, just changed. I have some used cedar fence pickets from another project, so I cut them to various lengths ranging from 6 inches to 9 inches long. I used the table saw to rip half of the pieces to one and a half inches wide and the other half to two and a half inches wide. I also used the table saw to shave the rough surfaces off all the pieces, but you can just as easily sand them smooth. Then I mounted my router to my workbench and put a small chamfer on one side of all the pieces. I'm not sure about this. Totally safe.
Once all the pieces were sanded, I used the one and a half inch wide pieces to create a chevron pattern on one of the heart cutouts, and I used the two and a half inch pieces in a staggered horizontal pattern on the other cutout. I puttied the holes on the heart with the chevron pattern to give it a cleaner look, and after some more sanding, I used Odie's oil for the finish. For the other heart, I decided to leave the nail holes and use a mixture of Oops paints for a more rustic look. I gave it a quick sand around the edges just to give it more of a worn look. And then I applied a coat of white stain to make it look more cohesive and I used some mineral spirits to thin out the stain. Off camera I did some more sanding and applied a couple coats of spray on polyurethane. I used a couple thumbtacks, some twine, and some mini clothespins on both hearts to create some little lines to hang pictures from. I added some picture hangers on the back and felt feet to keep them from scratching the wall. I had a cutout that I had made on my laser engraver that I decided to stick on the heart with the chevron pattern. That's fancy, that's fancy. If you don't have a laser engraver, you can also get similar cutouts at most local craft stores. And that will do it for projects two and three. For project four, I started with a scrap piece of wood that I pulled off an old dresser. I started by using the laser engraver to put a verse on the front. You definitely don't need a laser engraver for this project. To apply lettering, you can also use an inkjet transfer, wood burning, a stencil and some paint, or if you got the skills, you can paint them on freehand. I got skills, I got skills. Once it was done, I drilled a hole for the jigsaw blade to fit in and cut out the heart. Then I put a round over on the edge of the heart cutout. I used a half inch plunge bit and very carefully free handed out a groove along my hand drawn line. So much precision going on here. The groove is meant to hold the pieces of the picture frame. I cut out a heart from some 1 8 inch plywood that will act as the backing to the frame. Then I cut out a piece of plexiglass using the bandsaw. To make the frame stand up, I drilled a couple holes in the back and inserted some dowels. I didn't glue them in, that way they can be removed later on if we decide to hang the frame on the wall. For finish, I used some boiled linseed oil.
To hold the frame pieces in place, I took some tabs off of an old frame that I had laying around. You could also use some small pieces of wood. And that does it for project number four. All right, our four Valentine's Day projects are finished. And I gotta tell you, I don't really have a favorite. I like them all a lot because they're all so different from each other, even the two that are pretty similar. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you have any ideas of how we can improve on any of these projects, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.